When Plum Wiggins extensions kick in next season, the Warriors' salary and luxury tax commitments, they will be over $500 million, most likely. That's according to our own Bobby Marks. And that's assuming that Draymond Green opts in to his $27.6 million player option. Now, the Warriors, they would have a projected $483 million in salary and tax, just 12 players so far under that scenario. So now we are joined by senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, we're going to get to the rookie extension deadline at 6 p.m. Eastern today in just a little bit, but I want to stay in Golden State for now. In light of Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole's extensions, is Draymond Green's long-term future any clearer for the Warriors? And look, I, I know people want to believe that it's uh, – there's some want to believe that it's one or the other, hmm. that they wouldn't necessarily be able to keep all three. And I, I don't think that's – the case now for Draymond Green with that twenty-seven and a half million dollar option next season, almost assuredly he's going to exercise that. It, 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 not sure that that money is going to be in a long-term deal in his mid-thirties available in, in the marketplace. But listen, two years left on his deal, and there can be room for an extension at the end of those two years or a new deal that probably is south of that. 27 and a half, 28 million, perhaps maybe isn't a raise off of that. But if the Warriors are winning and Draymond is still a highly productive player and wants to be there, I don't think it means that his future, uh, that his days are necessarily numbered in Golden State. And I think, uh, you know, as Bob Myers said in the clip pr previously there, Joe Lacob has shown a willingness to spend deeper into luxury tax than anyone ever has in this league. And so, I think there is a lot of time left for the Warriors and Draymond Green to make that decision. But certainly, uh, I think the opt-in on his contract next summer is probably the most likely scenario. Okay, so you also reported that Houston Rockets guard Kevin Porter Jr. agreed to a contract extension today. What are the details surrounding his extension? Yeah, like a unique contract structure, first-year guaranteed uh, and then triggers along the way that can get him to that four years, $82.5 million. This is a player who, uh, listen, a, a late first-round pick who nobody has questioned Kevin Porter's talent. It's been his ability to adapt in the NBA, I think his coping skills, his maturity and growth. And I think Houston has liked what they've seen from him uh, in the last year, certainly on the court at the end of last season, averaging – you know, 27 and a half, seven assists, seven and a half rebounds a game. You know, this is certainly a very talented player. And I think you've seen the work that specifically Steven Silas, the Rockets coach, you saw yeah. how emotional he got today when he heard uh, Porter Jr. talk about the idea that the Rockets may have saved his life. And so, listen, I think this is a win-win for both sides. I think there's certainly plenty of motivation for uh, Kevin Porter Jr. to continue his growth uh, his maturity uh, as a leader, as one of the key kind of young components of this Rockets rebuild. And I think it's certainly a, a, a contract for the Rockets you know, that they may very well get the full value of because this is a player who has shown uh, he can be a frontline NBA playmaker and score. I, you said it, Woj. I really loved that moment when Steven Silas was asked about him being a part of the Rockets organization and that organization saved his life. It was really touching to, to watch that happen. Uh, while we're talking extensions, though, can you outline what else can happen before we cross the rookie extension deadline today at 6 Eastern? Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, players still in talks with their agents, in talks with teams on extensions. DeAndre Hunter uh, in Atlanta, Grant Williams, in Boston, P.J. Washington uh, in Charlotte, uh, Rui Hachimura in Washington. Those are all among the players that are still discussing uh, rookie extensions before that 6 p.m. Eastern deadline. And uh, those players, whoever does sign that extension, certainly avoids restricted free agency next summer. And so we've had a bunch, uh, Brandon Clark over the weekend, and, and certainly Jordan Poole, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. earlier, and now uh, you know, several significant, you know, I think, uh, rookie extension class of 2019 players uh, who are still discussing. And, and many of those talks will go right up to that 6 o'clock Eastern deadline. And for now, we wait to see which can be completed by 6 o'clock. Woj, thank you so much for stopping by NBA Today.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.